Now being an ex-teacher, working teaching psychology and general science, and I must say because I used to do a lot of the A-level work, I used to get a lot of lower level kids to teach science, I really do genuinely understand the pressures that are in education. And it's not all that long ago since I left. So I don't want people saying, oh, you don't know what it's like now. Well, I still have friends in education. I still see them on a regular basis. And I do sort of still know what the pressures are like in education. It doesn't matter if you're in primary school or a secondary school. Different pressures, different stress still has the same results. Bad results on your mind and your body. Now, I have to say that I don't go into schools a great deal nowadays. You know, tightness of money, people don't get me in to do stress management days anywhere near as much or half days when it's, you know, the old baker days or, you know, stuff training days as they're now called. But I do see a lot of teachers privately, a lot of teachers for stress, for anger, being able to cope. And believe it or not, some teachers even lose their confidence and don't think they're doing a good job. They are, it's just they don't feel they are. Although some genuinely, I must admit, probably aren't doing a good job. I shouldn't say that, but well, they probably aren't because of stress anger, distress, or lack of confidence. And I do see a lot of teachers that are so stressed out, they feel they can't deliver. They dread getting up in front of a class and talking. Well, it's what your job is. So you do need to be confident. So if you're one of those teachers that's having that problem, just give me a call and come on in and let's get it sorted because Everything's in strictest confidence. Now I say that on, on the top here, there's a menu where it says, you know, for education, and there's a list of little things that I do, including, again, not, not so much now because the money's not there. But I do work with kids, whole groups of kids in schools. I've done this before. I've gone in, helped with relaxation techniques, helped with exam stress and exam nerves. So it's not just about teachers, but children as well, the, the pupils, the students who get stressed, especially around exam times. And I have worked with whole groups teaching them how to relax, how to get you know, better results by revising more, keeping calm. And again, you know, I'm still quite happy to go into schools and do that with one class and then another class and another class, you know, whether it's like key stage four or A levels, whatever it is, I'm quite happy to go in and work with children to help them calm down, help them relax. So if you think that uh, some of the kids in your school would benefit, have a chat to the old senior management and um, see if they will be willing to, well, let's say, part with some cash for the benefit of exam results. It often helps sell it by saying, oh, improve exam results, lead tables. Oh, they like that. Well, at least all the experience of the ones I've ever had like that. So but if you are feeling stressed, if you are feeling angry, you're feeling you've lost your confidence or some other thing, you've just lost all your enthusiasm for teaching due to stress, usually. Give us a call. Come in and have a free chat with me. I offer everybody a free chat, half an hour of my time free. And let's see if we can get you, get your mojo back, get you feeling calm, collected, in control again. Just give us a call, 01322 See you on a different video.